Yasmin the Writer, written by Sadia Farooq, illustrated by Hatem Ali. Yasmin the Writer. Chapter One, The Assignment. Miss Alex had a new assignment for the students. You're going to each write an essay, she said. Yasmin raised her hand. I like writing, she said. What will we write about? Miss Alex wrote the topic on the board. My hero. Does anyone know what a hero is? She asked. Emma raised her hand. Ah, uh, it's someone who does great things. Someone we can be proud of, she said. Miss Alex nodded. Absolutely. Allie was too excited to wait for Miss Alex to call on him. I will write about Muhammad Ali, the boxing champ, he said. We have the same name. He's my hero. Great choice, Miss Alex said with a smile. I think I'll write about Rosa Parks, Emma said. She was a brave hero. Yasmin tapped her pencil. Who should she write her essay about? She couldn't come up with any heroes. The bell rang. Work on a rough draft tonight, Miss Alex said. We'll write our essays tomorrow after lunch. <laughs> Chapter two, thinking hard. That evening, Mama showed Yasmin how to research on the computer while dinner was cooking. Here's a list of the people who have done amazing things, Mama said. On the list were a famous athlete and a music star. There was a man who donated a lot of money to poor people. There were queens, presidents, and other leaders too. But Yasmin shook her head. None of these are my heroes. Okay, we'll keep thinking while I finish making dinner, Mama said. Look, we're having your favorite, Kima. Yasmin drooled on her paper. Thanks, she mumbled. Writing an essay wasn't as easy as she thought. The phone rang. Bring, bring. I got it, Mama yelled. Yasmin made a list of ideas. An explorer? An inventor? A poet? <sighs> she sighed and crossed them out. These were amazing people, but who was her hero? Mama, I can't find my pajamas, Yasmin said at bedtime. Mama found them in the closet. Here they are, Jean. That night, Yasmin had a bad dream. She woke up scared. Mama came into her room and held her close. It's okay, my darling, Mama said. You're safe. I'm always here. I love you. Chapter 3 Hero to the rescue. The next morning at school, the students showed their homework. Emma's rough draft had facts about Rosa Parks. Ali had drawn a picture of Muhammad Ali with boxing gloves. Yasmin shoved her blank paper into her desk. At lunch, she realized she'd forgotten her lunchbox. Uh, oh no. Her day was getting worse and worse. But suddenly, Mama burst into the cafeteria. Yasmin, I'm here. I'm here, Yasmin. And she held up Yasmin's lunchbox. Mama, you're a lifesaver, Yasmin said and hugged her. Mama hugged Yasmin back. That's just what mamas do. Yasmin got an idea. Ah, oh, I guess you could say you are my hero. After lunch, Yasmin knew exactly who to write about. My hero is Mama. She juggles many different jobs at home like an expert. She hugs me when I'm worried or sad, and she protects me. She saves me from empty stomachs. She's always there, and I don't know what I'd do without Mama. Miss Alex peeked over Yasmin's shoulder. Excellent essay, Yasmin. Heroes don't have to be famous people. Sometimes they're the ones closest to us. The end. In this portion, you can read these questions and think about it and talk about it with Yasmin. On this page, you can learn Urdu with Yasmin. 
Yasmin's family speaks both English and Urdu. Urdu is a language from Pakistan. Maybe you already know some Urdu words. Take a look and see. Here are some fun facts about Pakistan. Yasmin and her family are proud of their Pakistani culture. Yasmin loves to share facts about Pakistan. Read this page to learn more about Pakistan. Here's an activity you can do. You can make your own journal. Read the supply list and follow the steps. Here's a note about the author, Sadia Faridki. Read it so you can learn more about her and her other works. Here's a note about the illustrator. Read this and learn more about his work. Yasmin has a lot of adventures. Try and read them all.